Good morning. So I'll talk about the future. I'll talk about 2022 as well, what we learned. Uh, now, this is the last time I talk about this book. Last time you see it on this channel. So this book is sponsoring this channel. And it's written by a guy in Ireland. Great guy. He's a viewer of this channel. And I have enjoyed talking about this book because it's such a good book. And it's so damn funny. You see? And you can get a copy. It's a satire. I have to say this. It's a satire. And you can get a copy. There are four links below the video. One of them goes to the website. You can get it directly from the writer. All right. Okay, so now, you know, I learned a lot in 2022. Uh, I'm thinking about this guy that I know. He's uh, living in the United States. Up until 2020, he was totally relaxed about everything. And then the first lockdown came. And he started to look. He got pissed off, you see. He started to look, and you know what happens. And now he's uh, very, very active. He's doing a great job. See? Very quick, isn't it? And I'm thinking about another guy that I know. A Swedish guy. So he had three cups of tea. And then he said, no more. Right. And he was at work. And a colleague came over to talk to him. And this colleague was sort of bragging about, you know, he said, I just had my fourth cup of tea. You know. and what about you? Did you have your fourth cup of tea yet? And this guy that I know, you know what he said? I'll, I'll give it to you in Swedish first, because it's such a great Swedish sentence. <laughs> So this is what he said to the colleague. He said, Tror du fortfarande på den här skiten? <laughs> this is great Swedish. And it translates to, uh, Do you still believe this crap? And I was thinking, you know, the, the colleague, he got silent. And I was thinking, you don't have to be an expert talking for hours about this. If you have the timing, and the correct wording. That's all you need. Still believe this crap? You know? <laughs> I'll give you some statistics from Sweden. So, this is the thing. People who tested positive in the intensive care unit in total in Sweden. And still they got, well, they tested positive, right? 87% of them were, they were up to date with the T. 87%. And people who died, they tested positive and died. 88% of them were up to date with the T. So I'm not talking about those who have only had one cup or two cups. They were up to date. I'm sure you know what this means. Uh, the question, the big question is, do the authorities understand this? <laughs> and the politicians. Now, I was listening to an expert that I very much respect and I don't want to be kicked out from YouTube because it's so annoying. It's unbelievable. So I'll just show you the name. So this is the guy that I was listening to, right? And he said this, the genetic code for the T could be passed down from parent to child. So they have some information about this now. Now, well, I'm not surprised. You know, they were pushing it for pregnant women so hard. Oh, you have to give it to the pregnant women. It's totally safe. Give it to them now. You, know? you see, I think these guys who are doing this, they are like artists. Well, they are not artists, but they, they think like artists do. You know, 
artists they want to create an effect also on future generations. This is a dream of artists, I think most of them. Look, look like this guy, Michelangelo. He painted that ceiling in the 16th chapel. 500 years ago he did this. And now, today, still, every day, there's a long line of people and they want to get in there and they want to see the ceiling, right? And they stand there in awe, look at this fantastic work that he did 500 years ago. This is the dream, see? This is what I dream of. You know, I want that painting behind me. I want people to look at it in hundreds of years from now, talking about it. That's what I want, you know? And I think these guys are the same. They are not satisfied with creating an effect on people living. They want to create an effect on future generations. And that's what they did with this tea. I, I believe this. You know, we will see people being different in the future. Probably sicker. You know, overall. I don't know, of course. But this is what they wanted to do. That's why it was so important to give it to the pregnant women. And it means that we have to look out for contaminated blood. And when pure bloods get a partner, they should look for pure bloods. Of course. And we will have these two different races in the future. We are, of course, the control group. We never took it. And they, did, they never wanted a control group, of course. But here we are, right? We have a responsibility for future generations. Uh, finally this. Uh, I see this already. Now, I think 2023 will be the year when people move over to our side. And they will be in a hurry to do it. You know, when people are depending on others listening to them, especially. You see, Ben Shapiro is a good example. He wants people to listen to him, right? And he realized he had to change his mind about the tea. And that's what he did. Another example is this guy, Dr. John Campbell. He just changed his mind. And he also wants people to listen to him. So that's what we will see in the next, in the next year. A lot of this going on. And those who never change their minds, I don't know, they will be forgotten, maybe. You know, people will stop listening to them. You see, also, you know, I saw this lady at CNN, right? This medical expert lady, I forgot her name now. She's starting to change her mind, you know? Because she, see, she can see her career going collapse, totally collapsing. She has to change her mind. Right. Uh, I will not be making any videos now for, I think, three days. People are coming over, great people, staying over here. And I think Monday will be my next video. I think so. So I wish you a great weekend, everything, and a happy new year, right? I hope you will have a great year. I plan to have a great year. Let's have a great year, right? Be good.